Okay, so here's the problem that we're having. We bought all of these nice new computers, uh, and they came with uh, they came with these stands, yeah. But we have all of these old ones, and we don't want to just um, get rid of them. We want to use them. So the stands that came with these uh, uh, are gone. They were disposed of years and years ago. So what I was hoping to do was use the stands from the new computers uh, onto the onto the old ones, but you can see um, they don't fit because they're completely they're completely different all of the like mounting mechanisms and stuff are different so what I have to do is find a way to to be able to, to be able to use this stand now other people have have made attempts already let's go have a look at some of them so this is probably one of the neater ones. Uh, you can see so the top and bottom were cut, was cut off, so all of those little little pieces have been cut off, and we just use the Visa, Visa screws to mount that. Um, where else? Where else? Ah, so if you have a look at this one, for example, um, again, you know, they've done some done some bending and cutting here to get it to fit. Now. Now I didn't want to. Did, I didn't want to do that because, you know, when when it's time for us to change these PCs, we're probably going to want the stands. Um, we're going to want the stands back, so we're going to take them off the arms and put them back on the on the stands. So these are what the stands look like out of the box. They come in. They come in two parts: the vertical bit, and then and then you have the base. And we have to put these together. And here's what it look, looks like put together, base. Understand? So the thing is, right? You have all of these, all of these protrusions and so on, um, which which stop this stand going onto the new, uh, the new computers. So first thing to do is to get is to get all of this stuff off. Okay, so that's really easy to do, just some screws, and if you have a lot of them, having a power screwdriver really helps. So let's go ahead and get all these bits off. Good. And now we can disassemble this. Alright, this is all we all we really need, so we'll put this back. Of course, I set the torque I wanted before. All right, there we go. Now, all of all of these bits, obviously, we want to keep because, as I said, the plan is to someday use these stands for the computers that they were meant for. So, if you could put them all in a nice little bag like this, all together so that when it's time to reassemble them, it'll be easy. Now, looking at this, this is, these holes here are standard VSA mount holes, um, but these protrusions are preventing it going onto the back of the monitor. So, the first thing I did was, 
I 3D printed a bunch of these things. Now these are just simply spacers which go around the screw and gives enough clearance for the mount to go onto the back of the monitor. Now here's one that I assembled using that method. As you can see it works pretty well. There's enough clearance there for the protrusions to not be, not be a problem. The only, the only issue with that is that it becomes kind of hard to, to keep these in, to keep these in position when you're when you're screwing the stand on, because obviously they're all, they're all like individual, and if you try to, you know, keep those in place while putting a stand on it, I mean it, it's not too difficult, but you know it could be. More, more, it could be more time consuming. Okay. So, what I did was make a, a version 2, and this is 3D printed as well. Let's have one, let's have one hot off the machine. And all this really does is use a little bit of plastic to join them together. So, when you put it on, when you put it onto the back of the monitor, you only have one plastic piece which you need to center. So let's put one of these together and see how it's done. We've got the 3D printed spacer. We've got four M4 by 20 screws. Um, they're a bit longer than you would need for a standard mount because obviously it has to go through this, this spacer as well. Um, I can put the links to these particular screws down below if you want. And here, here we have a stand. Okay, so zoom in a bit. So first you put this in place. Now this can go, this can go either way really. Um, let's try it. Let's try it like this. This one time. So I'm gonna put start by putting the two upper screws into here and then this is the only tricky part you have to just line those up like that Okay, that's one in. Try not to block the camera. It's two in. Once you get the top two in, you don't have to hold the stand up anymore. Cool, and once all four are in, you can tighten them down. Right, and that's it. Now we have one, one rescued PC stand. As you can see, it works. As you can see, it works just as intended. So you have all your swivel and height adjustments and everything. I can give you a closer look at that.
Okay. Doesn't look fantastic, but it works. And when these PCs are ready to be recycled, we can simply restore the stands for them. And you wouldn't have any of this problem at all. Well, hope this video helped. Bye for now. Okay, this is just a quick quick update to show you what you can do with a small amount of double-sided tape. Some of this uh true M stuff. And yeah, it just holds it just holds that on there to keep it from sliding around while installing it. Let me um let me show you. So yeah, so this way that's stuck there, doesn't move, and it really does make it a lot easier. Look at that. Straight in on one side. And the other. Once you have those two, that's basically it. The lower two go straight in, no problem. Done.